Yo, what's up guys? This is Midnight Wabbit and welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. And today we're going to be talking about is the new Ikelos Escalation Protocol exclusive sniper rifle that is available this week from Escalation Protocol. And this thing is actually amazing. Like this is one of the best, I don't want to say it's the best because the Darcy is still a thing, but this is basically a legendary version of the Darcy. This is like how the Hunger of Crota was compared to the Galahorn. That's what this is compared to the Darcy. This is a very powerful PvE sniper and we're going to talk about two things in this video. One is everything you need to know about how to get it and two, the perks and what makes it so special. So first, let's talk about how to get it. So this week's Escalation Protocol boss is a big ogre. I don't know his name because the Hive have weird names, but you gotta shoot him in the back to do damage. The only way you can do damage to him is if you shoot him in the big tumor on his back. So this boss, each boss, uh, there's the first three bosses that we've had, each one has a unique weapon tied to them. The first one was the shotgun, the second was the SMG, and this week it is the sniper rifle. Now, if you, uh, so basically just farming the level seven boss, just to clarify, some people don't know this, but the weapons do not drop from the chest at the end of level 7. You do not need a key to get a weapon. That is only for the armor set. The weapons drop from the boss himself, so you have an infinite number of tries per week to get it. You can farm it as much as you want per week in order until you get the sniper. Um, so like I said, it is available this week for the next couple days until the reset on Tuesday. This boss is tied to the sniper rifle like i said but next week and the week after if you don't get it this week don't worry because next week and the week after the bosses will have a ch the next two bosses and the five boss rotation will have a chance to drop any of the three weapons so you can still technically get it it may be a little bit harder to get in the next two weeks but it will still be possible to get for the next two weeks because the next two bosses will drop any of the three weapons they, they don't have a specific weapon tied to them they can drop any of the three so if you're farming for any of these weapons, the shotgun is very, very good as well. I'll make a video on that once I get it. But this sniper is really, really good. It's a top tier PvE sniper. It's one of the best in the game. And as you can see right here, it drops as an Ingram from the boss. That's what it looks like when it drops. And that's how I got mine. So let's talk about the perks and what makes this thing so special. All right, so we got some good ballistics options, full bore. Uh, corkscrew rifling is a good balance uh, of everything. And I use polygonal rifling because I want to have more stability. This thing is basically a spam machine. So you want to be able to spam it as much as possible uh, in order to get those crits and get the highest DPS. And this weapon has serif rounds and triple tap, which are both very good perks for PVE. Uh, but the thing that makes this sniper special is a unique perk specific to this weapon called box breathing. Aiming this weapon without firing for a brief moment grants bonus range and precision damage while it remains zoomed. So as long as the weapon stays zoomed, the rest of the magazine will have the bonus precision damage. And the bonus precision damage is substantial. You will notice it. Let's take a look at how it does here against the level one escalation protocol bosses. You can see 6034 without the perk, with box breathing active, it does 10,344. That is a substantial difference in precision damage. And it will stay at that damage while it remains zoomed. So you can get six shots with this bonus precision damage. Well, actually even more because of triple tap. Triple tap, you land three shots, it will move one from reserves into the mag. So this thing effectively has an eight or nine round mag if you hit all the precision shots which increases the DPS substantially. Now I have mine as set as void in order to take advantage of the tractor cannon debuff that people use, especially for escalation protocol and whatnot. And here's another example of what the precision damage does. I do die, but you can see the precision damage right there is around 12,000. And when I respawn, I'm gonna go over and shoot this scion again in the head with the box breathing perk active, and you will see it does substantially more damage. Now this thing is, you can see right right there, 12,000, and with the box breathing perk active, it does, I believe, around 20k. Yeah, 20,600, so 20, um, uh, that's a pretty substantial difference. That's like 8,000 more damage, which is pretty substantial. Now, this thing, like I said, I'm absolutely amazed by this weapon. I, I didn't think it was going to be this good. Even when people were saying it was good, I didn't think it was going to be this good. But this is truly a top-tier PvE sniper. And I, if you guys ever use snipers against bosses or anything like that, and you like using snipers against bosses, this thing is worth picking up. 
it's worth the grind. It took me 14 kills of this boss to get, so it's not particularly common. It is obviously RNG, but uh, it took me 14 tries this week to get it, but I did manage to pick it up, and it was definitely worth it. So let me know what you guys think of this weapon if you have it in the comments section down below. Uh, if you guys don't have, if you guys have any of the Ikelos weapons from the bosses, if you have the shotgun, let me know. That's the one I want the most. I really want to get that shotgun, so I'm going to be farming for that next week when you can, when all the weapons can drop, and hopefully I'll have some luck. But we'll see. Anyway, hopefully you guys did enjoy. Like I said, please be sure to leave a like and a comment down below if you did, and subscribe for more Destiny content. And I will talk to you guys later with another video. Peace.